method, I think it's a interesting thing that most people don't think about, but you actually do win a medal in the semis if you win, right? You win that silver at the very least. And then in the next match, you have a chance to win the gold medal. You can relax a little bit because you did accomplish something that you can't lose now. Um, but you obviously want to go that last step and, and get yes. the, the final gold. Because when I, I, I lose the, the final match, I'm still a winner. I have uh, the silver uh, medal. Do you think that there's some archers, uh, either ones you know or ones you see, who maybe don't look at it that way? And maybe they look at like, oh, well, if I don't win the gold, then I, like, I can't, I'm not, a, I'm not a winner. Or versus this kind of more appreciation of winning is hard. We can't always win, but I want to enjoy what I'm doing. I want to get to the gold medal match, and I still will be happy with the silver. I don't know. Now it's the level with the archer so high. I think it's super when you are in top four. It's it's very hard go for top four, top four. The level compound arch, compound men archer is very very high. Yeah, I I've been very impressed with the scores this year for sure. Because because all what shooting qualification seven hundred have a big chance. For uh, winning, yeah, and we've seen, I mean, top, top four or top eight archers um, lose in the first match because they're the the co opponents are so good, and maybe they're not, you know, a lower ranked opponent isn't quite as consistent. Um, but fifteen arrows, anything can happen, and um, yeah, it's it's hard to put yourself in that top four position. It's it's definitely an accomplishment. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta have an incredible performance, and also kind of just get a little bit lucky that other people just don't drop perfect scores on you when you shoot a one forty nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 